So that's a track called Scared from Janet Henry, who joins me now in the studio. Hi, Janet. Hi, Robin. So, Janet, tell us about uh, that song, Scared. Scared. Well, Scared is uh, one of those songs that just popped into my head because sometimes my songs do that. I just make them up. Uh, they're not really based on reality. And uh, Scared's one of those. It's really probably about getting involved in a relationship, but you're just a bit tentative and a bit frightened to go that bit further. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. So <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit dark, but people like that song. They always ask me to perform that song, so uh, I'm happy to do that. So that's on your new album, which is called uh, Going Home, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. It's track two with uh, great musicians on this album, just super. And uh, we love the electric lead break on this one by Dick Farrelly. <laughs> right. <laughs> so already the album's picking up great reviews online. I see lots of people are really enjoying it. Yeah, they really are. I've, I mean, it arrived in the post literally probably about a month ago and um, I put it out there. I've sent some round to people and I've got some reviews back and it's, I've just been blown away. It's just been brilliant, the, the, the feedback from us, from critics and listeners alike. It's just, it's all been really, really good. So. Uh, Seems to be taken off. And you great. haven't had the official album launch yet, have you? No, I haven't. Uh, that's going to happen after the summer. I think with summer's difficult time yeah. with people being away on holiday and whatever. So we are going to launch it in September. Uh, we're going to do two gigs back to back. That will be the Friday the 14th down in the Red Room in Cookstown. And on Saturday, the 15th of September, we're going to use CFC Cafe on the Belmont Road in Belfast. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about the recording process of this, because I believe the studios were more or less created just for your album, weren't they? Well, you would think <laughs> they were. Um, uh, I was looking for someone uh, to record my songs. I haven't recorded in quite a while, and it was time, 
really for me to get songs that I'd written over the last few years have been just sitting there. And my album, Wonder Why, which was my second album, it's about 10 years actually. So really? I, I know wow. it's just busy life, raising kids, time flies. Uh, so it was finding the right person to give me what I felt I wanted and I got in touch with a guy called Dean Stevens, local producer in Hollywood and I spoke to him and it just clicked, it felt right. Uh, but he said to me, there's only one problem, I don't have a studio yet. <laughs> I said, right, okay. And uh, he says, I'll, I'll be literally building it in a few weeks and I'll get in touch and that's what he did. He built a studio in his back garden. It was um, finished around December. He started it in November and we started recording uh, at the end of December. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he had plenty of heaters. <laughs> now, the first thing you notice when you grab a copy of the album is the picture on the front, the car. It yes. just looks amazing. Yes, it's lovely, isn't it? Where did the car come from? The car came from Ocker. Uh, the story behind the car uh, is if you look inside the album, you'll see a photograph of my dad. Yeah. And that was taken around 1952 or whatever. Um, and I came across that picture and I thought, you know, it'd be so lovely to use that in, in, in the cover and kind of tell the story really of all my musical background from my family and from my dad. So I thought if I could do a mirror image of that picture. So we had to source, um, he's sitting in front of a Humber Snipe and we couldn't quite get a Humber Snipe, but we got a Super Snipe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we, we discovered that and we got in touch with the people that owned it and they were very kind and said, certainly come down, do your photo shoot with the car. And so that's we, what we did and it just, was brilliant, you know, to get what it was. I had the image in my head and to actually see it there, it's just lovely. Yeah. yeah. So obviously your dad was a musician. Did you come from a big musical family? Yeah, we did. Mum and dad both were musical. They, we'd go out as a duo and sing and over the years and then dad, he kept at it. Mummy stopped and he had his wee bands and stuff. He never wrote songs, but he just loved music and was playing two, three times a week, you know, regularly yeah. with with his friends and he loved country music and Hank Williams and Johnny Cash and all that. So yeah. that's what I grew up with, you know. So uh, that that was in my brother, he plays guitar and all my brothers are all musical too. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it just kept going and hopefully I'm passing it on to my children as well. So how did you start in music? Did you play in bands and stuff in the beginning? Yeah, yeah, way back, you know, from as a teenager. And really it kind of was from my early days um, in the church and whatever. That's what got me started. And then I was in gospel band and doing all that for a long time. And, and then that graduated from more into more acoustic stuff and then into some bluegrass. So <clears throat> I do quite a bit of bluegrass as well. Right. Uh, yeah, with my husband Colin and uh, my, my, my brother Ivan. And my son James is now playing the banjo. So uh, Brilliant, yeah. we, we've all that also to tap into. <laughs> Great stuff. So are there any gigs coming up over the summer that we should know about? Well, in July, uh, the, the family are going to be doing um, some bluegrass down in Ardera. There's a festival there around the 20th, 21st, 22nd of July. Uh, so that'll be fun and uh, I'll be doing the two launch dates in September yeah. for my own music and then we're going as a Henry band to the Oma uh, American oh, wow. Foot Park yeah. Yeah, for more bluegrass so <laughs> <laughs> plenty of music. Will you do one more before you go? Will yes, you do the absolutely. title track Going Home? Yes, love what's, to. What's the story behind this one? Um, I think it really ties in with the photograph of Dad and uh, really thinking about going full circle, you know, back to my roots and back home again. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a listen then. Here's Janet one more time with Going Home. Why does the rain always fall on me? Why does the sun shine Really think it's time 
instead of green and blue. Why does the falling snow make me think of you? Why is my beating? Really think it's time that I was home. Going home. Who's home?